overcast day in Santa Rosa, California. I'm walking through the town square, gonna go over and get me some coffee. So thank you guys so much for your support in, uh, in episode four. Uh, thank you so much for the comments and the subscriptions. This is a beautiful area down here. Like, I absolutely love that clock. That thing is awesome. Man. Anyway. of old books of all of these they make me so happy I just love books even if it's on international travel which I don't plan on doing anytime soon Daddy! Daddy! I have lived in Lake County California for 20 years 20 years Whoa, that's crazy. Something that is also crazy. And, oh, helps if the brake is off. <laughs> I don't think I ever realized before how weird it looks when somebody's chewing gum. For the last couple of days, I guess there has been a peacock perching outside of our, which we now live in. Jeremy, our oldest son, said peacock. That's our peacock. And it's just been perching out here. I think I shall name him Harry. Unless it's a girl, then it'd be Harriet. They're doing big, they're doing big things. It's HFC, what's up? I'm done, Dad. I'm done. Just pour, pour it, pour it. That's it. That's, that, that's it. She looks like Elmer Fudd though. I don't even know who that is. You're the one who said it. Jeremy doesn't like taking naps. So what he does is he falls asleep in really, really weird positions. What are we doing? We're waxing various parts of your face. Let's do it. I don't want any of you eyebrow professionals critiquing me in the comments, okay? This is a Ready? No. You ready? I get it. Ha! Ah! Oh man, you messed up. Ha! Ah! Ready? So love me, then I'll make you a BLT. I love you to death. Okay. Well, after the horror movie experience that I had last night, I slept really good. It was weird. It is so hot. Holy Moses. Today is just one of those days that it's unnecessarily hot. It's just one of those days that you sweat just because it's hot. Not because you're doing anything, but because it's friggin' hot. Like, what's the point of it being this hot? It's... It, uh.
We'll see you inside. What did you think of the first presentation? Pretty cool. Pretty legit. So that was kindergarten for Isabella. Now we're going to this one. My class. pass! Okay, so we just finished Ellie's class, uh, back to school. What did you think of that one? That one was, that one was oh. fun. It's a lot more, there's a lot more to it because there's a lot more to second grade than kindergarten. So, you know. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I'm right there with you. You got in there. And Looks like she went to class. Looking for a lost daughter. Look, looking for a lost baby. During the day. Uh, preferable email, because uh, if you call during the day, and I see an unknown number, I just... Since I went back to school, I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> parkour, parkour. Just got done with our third and final back to school and it was awesome because I actually saw somebody that I went to high school with. Who is my homeroom teacher? Who is Catherine's homeroom teacher, which is crazy because I didn't think I was that old. But my daughter, who is in what grade? Sixth grade. The sixth grade. He's in his class. What? Rachel. He's really not a good teacher. What did you think of the last one? I liked the last one. I liked the last one a lot. It was a lot of fun. You know, there are rules about leaving your children in the car, but none about leaving your wife in the car when you go into the store. So rude. Inconsiderate. I think I'm gonna bring this to the governor. Try to pass a bill. Shit, this isn't this isn't right. Don't leave your wife in the car. Don't leave your husband in the car. I mean, duh, it's already common sense not to leave your pets or your kids in the car. Never leave your grandma in the car. That's as obvious as leaving your kids in the car. But can we raise awareness about leaving your wife in the car? He's been in there forever. He took Bella. He knows not to leave his kid in the car. You'd think he could think about his wife. <sighs> Whatever. Got Caleb. And gum. Whatever. I guess it's fine. He's gonna hear about it. Okay. I messed with the mirrors. Let's see if Jeremy notices. Come on, Dixie. Give mom her drink. Oh, you got me a drink. <laughs> Miss Travis, <Swedish>. give. <laughs> Hi. What is going on with my mirror? What did you do? <laughs> You're assuming I did it. Uh. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't go in the store and leave your wife in the car. Hey, the doors were locked and the car was on with the AC, okay? Fine, whatever. And I left a bowl of water for you, so I knew you'd be okay. <laughs> and you got me a treat in the store. Mm-hmm. Like a good husband. Because you were a good wife. Looks like we're getting some work done at the church. Got Pastor Mitch over here on the baseboard, just killing it, what? Got the new wall installed, oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. We got some tile going in over here, ooh, and it's looking good too. Tim's over here just cutting the tile away, what? He's a man of many talents, a man after my own heart. Now we got Pastor Mitch just spray painting. I'm not spray painting, this is a sprayer. I'm, I'm gonna call it spray painting because that's what I do. Uh, okay, so I'm headed over to one of my buddy's house tonight to uh, hang out. We're gonna play some cards. Uh, hey, just hang out. They've uh, they've been missing me because I've been gone for the last six months, uh, and they just want to hang out. So let's go hang out. You ever had one of those moments where you're just like, I really hope I have the right house because you, like a friend or somebody gives you an address and they tell you it and you don't write it down. So you're just like, I really hope I have the right address. 
and I don't even know if this is the way to get in. There's paracord hold, holding something, so that's one sign. I just hope there's not a dog. Close this and just pray that there's not a dog if this isn't the right house. There's boots. There's also a good sign. Look at this big winner right here. What's up? And Sam over there, not cool. really. Ter These are terrible cards. Terrible no one gets cards. that reference. Nobody will understand that reference but us. Shout out to Bryce. Shout out to Bryce. I decided to do something today and I'm not sure how to feel about it. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. So we just got done at church. It was a good service today. I definitely missed it a lot. I've got my laundry. I'm gonna go upstairs and do it. Say hello to my mother-in-law, Katie. Hi, Katie. We're glad to have Jeremy back. I'm back. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. It was a lot of fun this week vlogging and getting to make this episode for you guys. If you really enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button right down below. And until next time, stay awesome. Cheers.